Hi, welcome to the DaVinci Retail Planning Training Series. I'm Leah Cook, a Senior Retail Business Consultant with DaVinci. In the following mini sessions, I will cover the basics of retail math commonly used in merchandise financial planning. Let's get started. Merchandise Financial Planning, Chapter 1, Introduction to Retail Planning. Merchandise Financial Planning, or MFP for short, is an important function for all retailers, as it is your company's financial roadmap to determine your inventory spent. Inventory is the largest investment for retailers. Merchandise Financial Planning is the function that helps determine how much your company needs to spend on inventory purchases to achieve your financial targets or rollback goals. An effective plan has a crucial impact on the retail businesses as it determines your profits. These plans are dynamic financial roadmaps that set assortment plan targets for your merchants, planners, and allocation team. Think of these plans as your buyer's bank account. The planning team develops the plans that determine the amount of money to put in each buyer's bank account. Buyers in turn know how much money they have to buy products in order to meet their sales and profit goals. Your allocation team will see these goals and understand how much inventory is available to assort to the correct locations. The first step in MFP is the creation of a high level roadmap that sets your company's sales goals, margins, and inventory targets. This is often done using historical performance planning metrics as a reference to plan future selling. Multiple versions of a plan can be created and saved. For example, I might have an official plan version, or my own personal more aggressive plan version, or a version I give to the team. We'll cover the most predominant version, that is the working PLN or plan version. For each of these plans, there is a planning metric such as sales, receipts, markdowns, and shrink. The planning metrics can be planned in what's called a unit of measure. A unit of measure can be dollars, units, or cost. For the purpose of this discussion, we will use retail dollars. 